Jungle Safari with Jungle Jimmy Once upon a time in a small village nestled near a dense, mysterious jungle, there lived a young boy named Jimmy. Jimmy was known for his boundless curiosity and love for nature. He had a wild mop of curly hair and a pair of binoculars that hung around his neck wherever he went. But most importantly, he had a nickname that everyone in the village knew him by, Jungle Jimmy. One sunny morning, Jungle Jimmy woke up with a twinkle in his eye. He had a dream the night before about a hidden treasure deep within the jungle. He was convinced that the dream was a message from the jungle itself, inviting him on a grand adventure. With his trusty binoculars and a backpack filled with snacks, Jimmy set off on his jungle safari. The village was surrounded by tall trees and vibrant flowers, but Jimmy wanted to explore the heart of the jungle, where the trees grew taller and the animals roamed freely. As he ventured deeper into the jungle, Jimmy marveled at the exotic birds with colorful plumage, the chattering monkeys swinging from tree to tree, and the gentle rustling of leaves as small creatures scurried by. It was a world of wonders he had only dreamed of. But the jungle had its challenges. The path became dense, he encountered slippery vines treacherous streams, and even a mischievous parrot who mimicked his every word. Despite the obstacles, Jimmy pressed on. He knew he was getting closer to the treasure he had seen in his dream. He followed a path marked by the sweet scent of exotic flowers until he arrived at a magnificent waterfall hidden within the heart of the jungle. At the base of the waterfall, Jimmy noticed something sparkling among the rocks. It was a treasure chest adorned with jewels and gold. His dream had come true, and he had found the hidden treasure. But as he reached for the treasure chest, he heard a deep, rumbling growl. Before him stood a majestic jaguar, its emerald eyes fixed on him. Jimmy's heart raced but he remembered that the jungle was not just a place of danger, it was also a place of beauty and wonder. With a slow and calming voice, he spoke to the jaguar, Hello, magnificent creature. I mean no harm. I only seek to admire the treasures of this jungle, like you. To his amazement, the jaguar slowly nodded and allowed Jimmy to take the treasure. As he left the jungle and returned to his village, Jimmy realized that the greatest treasure of all was not the jewels and gold he had found but the friendship and understanding he had forged with the jungle and its inhabitants. He shared his story with the villagers, and they were in awe of Jungle Jimmy's bravery and kindness. From that day forward, they knew that the jungle was a place of enchantment and mystery, and they respected it as a part of their world. Jungle Jimmy's adventures continued, and he visited the jungle regularly, always remembering that the true treasure of the jungle was the connection he had formed with its wondrous creatures. And so, in the small village near the mysterious jungle, Jungle Jimmy's stories of bravery, curiosity, and friendship with the jungle animals became legendary, reminding everyone that when you approach nature with respect and wonder, it can lead to the most magical adventures of all. The Magic Carpet Ride Once upon a time, in a small village nestled at the foot of a great mountain range, lived a young boy named Sam. Sam had a heart full of wonder and a head full of dreams. He had heard stories of magical adventures, and he longed for one of his own. One sunny morning, 
While exploring the attic of his grandmother's house, Sam stumbled upon a dusty old carpet. It was unlike any carpet he had ever seen before. Its colors were vibrant and shimmering, and it felt soft and smooth beneath his touch. Sam couldn't resist the temptation to touch it. As he reached out, he felt a strange sensation, a tingle of magic. The moment his fingers brushed the carpet's surface, it came to life. The carpet started to float in midair, and Sam found himself hovering above it. His heart raced with excitement as the carpet gently carried him out of the attic window and into the open sky. Sam couldn't believe his eyes. He was flying. The wind whistled through his hair, and the world below him looked like a patchwork quilt of fields, rivers, and forests. The carpet took Sam on a breathtaking journey through the clouds. He soared high above the mountains, and then descended to skim the surface of a sparkling lake. He laughed with joy as he dipped his fingers into the cool water. The magic carpet seemed to know exactly where to take him, and every twist and turn brought new wonders into view. As Sam continued his magical ride, he spotted a rainbow in the distance. With a joyful shout, he urged the carpet toward it. To his amazement, he flew right through the rainbow, and the colors danced around him in a dazzling display of light and beauty. But as the sun began to set, Sam realized that his adventure was coming to an end. The carpet gently descended and brought him back to the attic window where it all began. Sam stepped off the carpet, and it settled back onto the attic floor, its magic spent. Sam was filled with gratitude for the incredible adventure he had just experienced. He knew that he would cherish this memory for the rest of his life. With a satisfied smile, he carefully rolled up the magic carpet and put it back in its place. From that day on, Sam continued to visit the attic whenever he needed a dose of magic in his life. He never knew when the magic carpet might come to life again, but he was content knowing that the attic held the key to countless adventures. As Sam grew older, he shared his magical tales with the children of the village, inspiring them to dream big and embrace the wonders of the world around them. He reminded them that sometimes, the most extraordinary adventures could begin with the most ordinary things, like a dusty old carpet in the attic. And so, in the small village at the foot of the mountains, the legend of Sam's magic carpet ride lived on, serving as a reminder that the world is full of enchantment and all you need to find it is a heart full of wonder and the courage to embark on a magical journey of your own. The Mystery of the Lost Locket In a quiet and picturesque village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily was known for her love of adventure and her insatiable curiosity. She had a heart full of kindness and a smile that could light up even the gloomiest of days. One sunny morning, as Lily was exploring the meadows near her home, she stumbled upon an old, dusty locket lying in the grass. It was a small, heart-shaped locket with intricate engravings on its surface. Lily carefully picked it up and marveled at the delicate patterns. As she turned the locket in her hands, she noticed a small, hidden clasp. With a gentle touch, she managed to open it, revealing two tiny, faded photographs inside. One was a picture of a young girl with a radiant smile, 
and the other was a picture of a boy who appeared to be her brother, his eyes full of mischief. Lily's heart swelled with curiosity. She wondered who these children were and how their locket had ended up in the meadow. She knew that she had to solve the mystery behind the lost locket. With the locket safely tucked into her pocket, Lily set off on her adventure. She began by asking the villagers if they recognized the children in the photographs. She described the engravings on the locket and showed it to anyone who might have information. As she went from door to door, the villagers shared their stories and memories. Some recalled a family that had once lived in the village many years ago, a family known for their kindness and generosity. The children in the photographs were identified as Emily and Thomas, siblings who had brought joy to the village with their laughter and love. Lily's determination led her to the village's elder, Mrs. Patterson, who had lived in the village for decades. Mrs. Patterson's eyes twinkled with recognition when she saw the locket. She explained that Emily and Thomas had been her childhood friends and that the locket had been lost during a picnic near the meadow. Mrs. Patterson shared fond memories of their adventures, and her eyes brimmed with tears as she remembered the day Emily and Thomas had to leave the village due to their family circumstances. The locket had been a symbol of their friendship and she had thought it was lost forever. With the mystery solved, Lily felt a deep sense of joy. She knew she had to return the locket to Mrs. Patterson, who had cherished memories of her dear friends. Mrs. Patterson was overcome with gratitude, and she shared stories of Emily and Thomas with Lily ensuring that their memory lived on. From that day forward, Lily and Mrs. Patterson became close friends, bonded by their shared love for adventure and their appreciation for the past. They often spent afternoons exploring the meadows where Emily and Thomas had once played, and their laughter echoed through the hills. Lily had not only solved the mystery of the lost locket, but had also enriched her life with the warmth of friendship and the beauty of cherished memories. She learned that sometimes, the most valuable treasures were not gold or jewels, but the bonds of love and the stories of those who came before us. And so, in the quiet village nestled between rolling hills, the mystery of the lost locket became a tale of friendship, adventure, and the enduring power of memories, reminding everyone that even the smallest discoveries could lead to the most meaningful connections.